Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Power Gunner, and welcome to my review of Bloodborne. So, Bloodborne is a PlayStation 4 exclusive game made by From Software, the makers of the Dark Souls and Demon Souls games, which are known to be very, very hard. And I can tell you that, as well, Bloodborne is very, very hard. You play as a hunter that you get to customize and make yourself, and then you are thrown out into the town of Yarnum to discover its secrets for yourself and die a lot. So, I want to say that I have not completed this game, but I do feel like I have played enough to be qualified to review it, for myself at least. Maybe not for a professional review, but for me, I've put about 10 hours into the game, which is about as much as you put into any game, but I have heard that this game takes like 40 to 60 hours to finish usually. So yeah, let's get into this review and what I actually thought of this game. So, when this game starts out, if you haven't played any of From Software's other games, which I had not, then it is very, very hard. Like, super hard. You die very easily, and to stay alive in this game, you just have to know when to not hit the enemy, and when to hit them back to get some health back, maybe, and stuff like that. I think that the gameplay in this game is pretty fun, although very challenging, when you get past challenges, it usually feels pretty rewarding. So basically the feeling of me starting out in Bloodborne was as if it was the feeling of me just beginning gaming as a whole. That's how much it felt like I did not know what to do, and I struggled a lot, but I got past it. And when the game started out, yes it was very hard, but at the same time it was very very fun. Also, Bloodborne has fantastic level design. There's like many different pathways that all connect in like all of these interesting ways that make it feel sort of like it's a big maze of bad guys and death. And not just the level design is great, but the enemy design with how they look and just there's so much of a variety of different kinds of enemies out there. It's just really, really cool. There's some really, really scary looking enemies, and even just their look can be very, very intimidating. So just a few more things that I actually didn't explain about Bloodborne. When you die, you go back to these lamppost checkpoints, and there's not that many of them. So yeah, this game can be pretty difficult, obviously. And when you respawn at these checkpoints, all of the enemies are back, and you have to do everything all over again. So dying can be very, very frustrating when you put in so much time just to get past it. So this game certainly has a sense of atmosphere. This game basically feels like a nightmare, which is really cool at first, but then you realize that this game is so dark that nothing good ever happens in it, and it makes it feel like it doesn't even matter that it's dark, and you don't really care about what happens in the game because of that, like, story-wise, I guess. Which, speaking of the story, there is a story, it's sort of hidden and in the background, and it's not very important for just playing the game. Also, one thing to make note of is you cannot pause in this game, which is interesting, kind of frustrating, because even when you aren't playing online, there is no pause. But I guess they just want to do that because it makes the game even harder or something. I don't think that makes it that much harder, it's just more frustrating. But anyways, this game is also an RPG, and there are many RPG-like elements in it, in my mind, it got a little too complex with that, and I liked it more in the earlier levels where it was more simple, and that's where I had much more fun. So also in Bloodborne, there are quite a few bosses to fight, and here's how I felt when I fought those bosses. Basically, it's like the other stuff in the game that you fight is really hard, but then you get to the bosses, and they are like at least five times harder than the other stuff that you have been fighting in that level. Now. Bosses should be harder, they're like the finale to a level in most cases in most games. But these ones are so much harder and difficult, it just makes you mad, and I feel like it's just bad game design. Now, that's just me, tons of people love these games and the way that they're done, so maybe this game just isn't really for me. Also, one random thing to put in here, because this review isn't necessarily planned the best, is the weapons are really cool. Not all of them are very good, but all of them are cool and you can transform them, to make them like longer and stuff, and there are some really neat ones out there. So eventually, after I got past the third boss in Bloodborne, and explored around a little, I just wasn't having fun with the game anymore. Each new section of this game slams the difficulty down on you like harder and harder over and over, 
and I just stopped having fun with the game, and I didn't want to continue it, so I didn't. Also, I didn't feel like it was that rewarding to kill things once I got past it, because I was just bored, and not having fun with how hard it was, like after 10 hours of the same thing, and I wasn't even that far through the game. So yeah, it's kind of sad to say because I like being very open-minded with what kind of games I play, and I like to try to play tons of things, but I think Bloodborne just isn't the right kind of game for me, and I didn't like it that much overall. Now, there are some very interesting and good parts of it, but with the overall game, I just couldn't even really get into it that much. So yeah, that is my review of Bloodborne. This game might be for you, and it might not be. For me, it wasn't, and that is my opinion of the game, is it's not as good as what other people say. So thank you for watching my review of Bloodborne. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please click the like button, and have a great day, guys.